प्लीज लाइक द वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल टू गेट अपडेट्स ऑल्सो प्रेस बेल आइकन टू रिसीव नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ न्यू अपलोड्स नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर अजय वर्मा इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ एलिप्स यूजिंग डिफरेंट स्पेसिफिक मैथड्स विच आर डिजाइंड ऑनली फॉर एलिप्स नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ पेराबोला यूजिंग द स्पेसिफिक मैथड्स फॉर parabola only previously we have also understood how to draw ellipse parabola and hyperbola using the general method so let us start so in all basically there will be two methods for uh, parabola one will be the oblong method and second will be the tangent method so we will be discussing them one by one but before that let us understand some terminologies related to para parabola so this is the parabola where this ab may be termed as this ab is nothing but base of the parabola and this cd is generally known as height of the parabola this cd is also termed as abscissa and this base is also termed as double ordinate so in the problem if double ordinate is written means it is base if abscissa is written it means it is height okay so using these data you can draw the parabola now let us consider the base of the parabola is given is equal to say 60 mm and height is given 40 mm and you you wish to draw the parabola so as per the first method that is oblong method what you need to do just draw base here that is ab equal to 60 mm take the midpoint of ab so that you will be getting d draw a perpendicular equal to 40 mm so as to obtain c and then complete the rectangle taking a b c d at the extreme points okay then divide this line say this is e so e to a may be divided into some number of equal divisions say four parts so you need to divide this line also into the equal number of parts just equal to e a this method we have already understood in ellipse also the only difference is that that time the four quadrants were there here only two parts of the rectangle are there now join this say this is 1 2 and 3 join these points with c as usual then in that process we joined these points 1 dash 2 dash and 3 dash with d here and then extended but in this case just draw the vertical lines here so as to cut the respective lines so vertical line from 1 dash with will cut c1 vertical line from 2 dash will cut c2 and from 3 dash it will cut c3 so that half of the parabola will be obtained the other half may be drawn using the offset me offset method by transferring the dimensions from here take this distance mark this side take this distance mark this side take this distance and mark this side taking this as centers so that the other half may also be completed now to draw tangent and normal at any point say for example we wish to draw a tangent and normal at this point p so what you need to do draw a line parallel to the base from p so as to cut say this is point m then take c as center and radius equal to cm and cut this side so as to cut the extended cd line at point t what we have done we have taken c as center radius will be cm so as to get t 
join this T with P that will be the tangent and a perpendicular here on P point will provide you the normal okay second method the tangent method what you have to do in this first of all draw the line AB of 60 millimeter draw CD 40 millimeter like this then what you need to do just extend this CD equal to length of CD means say we have to obtain a point E where EC is equal to CD so you just have to extend double the uh, this height then join E with A B with E uh, so both of the point A and B will be joined with E now divide this A to E and E to B into equal number of divisions say if I am dividing this line into eight parts so this must be divided into eight equal divisions both the sides you have to take eight divisions like this if it is divided into eight this should also be divided into eight if it is divided into ten this should be ten and take as much as points you can take means as much as num a number of uh, divisions on these lines because the num more the number of points will be number of divisions will be there more smoother curve will be obtained now give markings 1 2 3 then 4 5 6 7 and this is say e so start marking from this side in the upward direction like this 1 2 3 and th on this line give marking from this side 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash 6 dash and 7 dash remember from here in upward direction from there in the downward direction now join 1 with 1 dash 2 with 2 dash 3 with 3 dash and so on so this is 1 1 then 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 6 and 7 7 you will be getting some lower peripheries of all these lines join them tangentially starting from a and join all the lower lines tangentially and the curve must pass from point C in this way you can draw the parabola for drawing tangent and normal this method will be used so take up any point on the curve draw a horizontal line to get M take C as center cut this side to get T point again join this T with the point P that will be tangent and a perpendicular on P at this tangent will be the normal so in this way you can draw the parabola using tangent method and oblong method thank you for watching